All right, what's up, guys? Welcome to another episode of the T Moss Boss Show. And in today's episode, so recently I had a YouTube video go viral. I mean, dang, I was not expecting to. Originally, I posted this video on Instagram. And so, to explain to you guys the video, so it's a video of a dog. Something was going on with the dog. I don't know exactly what. I'm hearing a lot of different things. So, I really can't say. Uh, or give you guys an answer on what was wrong with the dog. But so anyways, um, dog is acting kind of weird. So I did a voiceover video to it, posted it on Instagram. Bunch of people liked it on there. Okay, cool. I'm going to post the same video on YouTube. Posted it on YouTube. Yeah, it was kind of sitting for a few days and stuff. And then out of nowhere, this video started blowing up. I mean, blowing up surpassed by uh my most viewed uh like regular youtube video because i i uploaded it as a sh um as a short so uh it yeah it surpassed my um regular like youtube video full length youtube video and then at some point in time that video had reached past a million views and i'm sitting down i'm, I'm still kind of like flipping out about it it's not like this is the first time i've had a video reach past a million views but on youtube this is my first time having a video reach past a million views and i'm like wow <laughs> like that is some crazy stuff to just like just wake up one morning and it's something it's something that i've always imagined i'm gonna wake up and there's just gonna be a video of mine just going viral i that's something that i, I genuinely think about probably because now i've spoken into existence it might not happen as often but i'm happy with this one time um of it happening i'm like yeah it's a, it's a blessing it, it really is a blessing but so the thing is, is this, a lot of people like the video, all right, from both Instagram and YouTube, people have been cracking jokes, all that other stuff, then you got the animal lovers, where they're looking too deep into this video, and I get it, I understand, you know, there are animal lovers out there, where it's like, there's, there's no problem with, uh, you know, being a caring person towards animals and stuff, but the thing is, is this, you have to understand because that's something that I've, I've made it clear in the um, uh, and it's something where I'm like, if people did research before they just jump out and you know just be like, oh hey, like let me just jump to conclusions and all that stuff. I'm like, people, please do research because if you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen that I did a voiceover to the video. Even people on there, they were like, um, confused by it. And it says at the bottom of the video when uh on instagram that it'll let you know when you remixed a video meaning like when you add something whether it's text voiceover work whatever it is instagram like it lets you know that people on there what what uh the, what's wrong with your dog take your dog to the vet and all this other stuff and i'm like bruh it's not my dog so i posted it on youtube it says in the title not my dog People are still, like, commenting underneath my videos talking about what's wrong with your dog. Even after leaving a comment saying, I said it, it's a voiceover video. It says voiceover in the title, and it says not my dog also in the title. People are still like, hey, what's wrong with your dog? And I'm like, y'all are, no, something's, like, wrong with you guys. Because I'm like, that don't even make any sense. It says it in the title. I just said it myself. What more do you guys need to know about, like, this video? Because I'm saying it's just, it's some wild stuff, man. But the thing is, is this, though. People have been coming after me for that video because, yeah, there's people saying that the dog um is, like, might have taken some drugs. Some people are saying that the dog might have a head injury. Another per A lot of people are saying that the dog might have rabies. At the end of the day, I don't know. Because for one, my thing is this. This is the internet. You got a lot of liars on the internet. So it might just be a thing where it's like, oh, somebody just... Because that's something where I feel like people, they do that. They just see somebody else comment something. And they're all like, oh, let me comment that same thing. Oh, they're commenting it? Oh, now I got to comment the same thing. Oh, now they're coming. Oh, now I got to comment the same thing. So yeah, that's why I'm like with the internet. I've been on the internet long enough to know like... People don't think for themselves, and I think a lot of the times, like, it's just, you know, people just trying to follow with the trend and all that stuff, and I'm like, look, 
following the trend i'm telling you like that it ain't gonna lead you nowhere so it's like if you genuinely know some stuff then okay talk on it but if not then it's like bruh do not talk on it but yeah everybody's like trying to get on me and then uh then when i did say that yeah this is a voiceover it's not my dog now people are trying to get on me for doing the voiceover and all that stuff and i'm like where are you guys when people are using like other situations because i feel like it, it's it, i could crack a joke about anything else i should just put it to the test like just crack jokes about some dark stuff and then um uh go and just see how people react and i guarantee and i promise you i bet if i made a video cracking jokes about slavery people wouldn't say nothing about it i bet if i crack jokes about let me see um of a uh, goldfish people probably wouldn't they well no it's it's it falls in that animal category so they're probably animals i just feel like yeah them animal lovers out there they just be taking that stuff too seriously. And I'm like, look, people. Like, because that, that ain't no different. I remember when Grant That Follow 5 was coming out. And I think it was PETA where they were, like, trying to shut the game down. Or they were trying to do something to the game because uh, you could kill animals in it. And I'm like, bro, this ain't the first time uh, Rockstar Games did something that involved you killing animals. Did you guys not see Red Dead Redemption 1? Bro, do you know how many bears cougars i'm trying to think of some other animals i done killed in that game probably not. yeah birds i'm saying like i done killed some animals in some games before and my thing is, is this when it comes to a video game i'm like yeah if it's keeping it in there then okay cool but it's like yeah killing an actual animal for sport yeah i'm not with that that's something that i personally would not do and then getting with this video and i know people probably would ask that question like well what would i do if that was my dog definitely would try to get my dog some help but i'm like my thing is this getting on me i'm just the guy doing the voiceover get on the person that actually stood there and recorded the video because if they would have never stood there and recorded that video i would have never did a voiceover i never would have had a video with over a million views i'm not trying to like make myself out as the bad guy so it's like people are coming after me but i'm like fam it ain't even my fault i did a voiceover that's it that's as far as it should go but it's like me going after, and it's like you would think you would think that people would look at his opportunity. And it's like okay, let's try to find um, where the original video came from, you know. So let's start with his Instagram. Let's see where we could go from there. I'm saying it's like you guys can be investigators with anything else, but it's like when it comes to that video, all you guys just want to do is just argue in my comment sections. And I'm like, that's something where I'm like, nah, bruh, I, I just think that that's silly. I think it's silly where it's like, fam, I'm not trying to do a video to upset people but it's like people are making it out that way they're making it seem like that oh i'm doing this video to upset people i'm doing this video because i i'm careless and all this other stuff and i'm like if that would have been me if that if i would have been in that situation first thing i wouldn't have done is pull my phone out and start recording like i said i would have tried to help out my dog all right so that's something where i'm like yeah i, I got a little bit of animal love in me but it's like at the same time and, now, and what's crazy, it's like, okay, so like, yeah, let's let's say it is a situation where the dog got rabies. So it's like, I do a voiceover video to it, and it's a problem. Stephen King can literally make millions off of a movie called Cujo about a dog getting rabies. And there's and that's the thing about it, because I know people will probably mention that, and they'll be like, well, that movie is fictional. Yeah, but it's not like, oh, it's only fictional for a dog to get rabies in movies. Dogs can get rabies in real life. I proved it with the video that I just recently posted. If the dog does got rabies, but if it um doesn't, then yeah, then you know. But but no, let let's just talk on this rabies talk real quick. Let let's um just talk on that because yeah, it's like Stephen King, and I'm not trying to throw his uh movie under the bus. Matter of fact, Cujo, it's actually a solid movie. It's a good movie. You know, I that's that's a movie I still watch to this day. But my thing is this though, he can make money off of that movie. My thing is this, I barely made anything off of that video. I'm like, and so I, if, however people want to look at my video, it's like, it's really um, up to you at the end of the day. I see it more so as an opportunity. It's like, okay, even though I'm adding some sort of comedy to this video, at the same time, people can look at it as like, oh, if this is what rabies look like on a dog, then I know to prepare myself if I ever see a dog with rabies. I'm not saying that my video is going to be informational and it's going to teach you some stuff, but at the same time, it just might. So that's why I'm like, yeah, people, instead of looking at it as a negative thing, I'm like, you gonna, my thing is this, you ain't got to look at it as a positive thing, but it's like, at the same time, it's like, fam, don't be negative in my um comment sections 
You know, it's like, it's something where I'm like, look, if you ain't got nothing positive to say, then it's like, bro, take take that elsewhere. I'm not trying to be arguing with people on the internet no more. Them days is over with. That's why I'm like, I no, with this video, just because of how viral it went, I have even bothered to take the time to look at the comments. I was like, no, I'm not even going to put myself through that um, stress and drama and stuff because I'm it's it's too much. It's just way too much, bro. And I'm like, bro, I'm I, I'm saying this video currently, I think it's at like 1.7 million um, views. I think when I last checked, let's just see where it's at now. 1.8 million views. It was at 1.7 I um before I did this video. 1.8 million now. Then there was another video. Let's just throw in an honorable mention. Then there was another video that I uploaded two days before. Where? Because I uploaded this video on the 12th of this month. Then I uploaded another video on the 10th of this month. That video got over 200,000. So all all within a f like a few hours. Not even a few hours, but a few days. I've gained 2 million views, bruh. 2 million views. Now, in the other video, yeah, that other video, it's like some, like, animated video and stuff. But even people in there, they're trying to, like, turn it into something that it's not. And I'm like, man, look, I'm going to say this right now, like, you know, with just videos. It's like, people, there are actual stuff in this world that we should be focused on. You know, we should be focused on the wars that's going on in this world. We should be focused on the racism that's going on in this world. I actually had somebody be racist to me in the comment sections of the dog video. And I'm thinking to myself, how is that going to make you, like your argument or anything any better? You just flat out called me the N word. No, 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 no. They didn't call me this. So they called me a ninja, but they were all like, and if you know what I mean by ninja, then there you go. They said something stupid like that. I'm all like, man, people are ignorant when it comes to the internet. I'm like, y'all, you guys seriously do not got no sort of like home training whatsoever. Your brain gets on the internet and you guys just don't know how to act. But yeah, it's like, I saw that and I'm thinking to myself and I'm supposed to reason with you guys. And there's people being racist to me in my comments comment sections but i'm supposed to reason with that because y'all are animal lovers my thing is, is this there's wars going on in this world there's racism going on in this world there's people that's actually they are being abusive towards animals i'm what well, are some other things you mean to tell me what's crazy is that there's people that can crack jokes about george floyd trayvon martin brianna taylor I'm trying to think of some, you know, uh, the um, Asian, um, like, you know, when people were getting attacked by Asians, they could get uh, crack jokes about that. I'm trying to think of some other stuff. Yeah, there's just all these 9-11 jokes. I, man, I'm telling you, like, throughout the years of me being on the internet, the amount of jokes that I've seen where it involves some, like, real-life stuff, I'm like, dang, people really just don't care, you know, and I'm not trying to put myself in that mix, like, I do care, but, and it's, yeah, and it's stuff like that, where I'm all like, you know, there's just some, like, there's some jokes that I will crack, and then there's some jokes that I won't crack, you know, but I'm saying, that's like, I feel like with this particular video, where a lot of, uh, stuff is being said, but we don't have, like, no actual factuals to say about this video, fam, let like leave it alone let it go you know go find something out there where it is actually talking on some stuff and it's like yeah defend that argue with that talk about that but i'm like bro i'm over here doing a voiceover i'm like i'm saying it's something where i'm like i feel that i didn't did videos a little bit more serious than that where it deserved a conversation but it didn't and so it was just left alone but it's like all of a sudden this video oh and it got it got um everybody got to talk about it i'm like look bro you know, if the video um, upsets you that much, you don't have to watch it. You you do not have to watch that video at all. And I feel like there's people that's probably coming back, watching that video, getting mad all over again. I'm like, you're going out of your way of making yourself upset. Why? For what reason? I'm saying that's something where I'm like, no, that it, I'm not trying to hear nothing about no invalid arguments because I feel that some people will probably hear this and they like want to turn it into, no. It, it's not being turned into nothing. If you got a problem with my video, that is you. That is with you. you got to handle that. You got to fix that. It's like, and overall, the way of fixing that is letting it go. But if you're going to allow it to upset you that much, then I'm like, fam, you don't need to be on the internet. Because I'm saying, besides this video, there's going to be a lot of things that you see that's going to upset you. And you're not going to like, it's going to be a hundred times worse than the video that I posted. So I'm saying, it's like people, at times, you got to let stuff go. 
you gotta let stuff, you ain't gotta like the video, but it's like over here leaving comments and getting mad about stuff, I'm like, man, get out of here with that, ain't nobody trying to see all that, so anyways, but to those that have been supporting the video, supporting the channel, um, you know, all that stuff, I do appreciate it, thank you, and uh, yeah, stay tuned for some more voiceovers, uh, stay tuned for some more videos, I appreciate it to each and every one of you guys that have been showing support and love but uh yeah in the meantime i will talk to y'all later thank you guys for watching and or listening stay tuned for the next episode like subscribe and viewing this on youtube follow or subscribe viewing this on podcast streaming service thank you guys and peace